Today we're in our packets on page 24.3e, working on the um, word problems. And you'll see today that I'm going to do many of these word problems in more of a table format. We haven't worked on these kind, or at least three of these I'm going to do in a table format today. So it's going to look a little bit differently. Three different courses are held in a school. There are 358 participants for the course. A, while there are X participants for each of courses B and C. The fees for course A is $220 per participant, while the course fee for each participant for courses B and C is $150. So write an expression for the total amount of the course fees. Rather than writing three let statements, because I have three variables here, course A, course B, and course C, I'm going to set it up in a table. So I'm going to be using a table today. And the course that I have is course A, B, or C. And again, I know there's not a lot of space here, and you may need to take out line paper to do this. Then the fee was one of the um, variables in here, that course A has a $220 fee, and B and C are both $150. Another thing mentioned in this word problem was how many people participated. There were 358 people, so this is the number of participants. And I'm just going to say P-A-R-T, participants, period. And in the course A, there were 358. And in course B and C, there was X. So there's our variable there. We also have to know something about the total. Because that's what the expression, write an expression, not an equation. When we get down into part B, we're going to set the equation equal to $174,760. So we're going to get the total and set the equation in part B. The total for the course with 358 people each person is paying oops, $220, 220 times 358 would give me a total of 78760 X number of people at $150 would be 150X, and X number of people at $150 would be 150X. So write an expression for the total amount of the course fees, meaning course A, plus course B, plus course C. So course A, I know that value, it's $78,760. Course B and C are 150 times whatever the fee is. So that's the expression, no equal sign. It says write an expression for the total, A plus B plus C. Right? So here's the expression above there, 78,760 plus 150x plus 150x. If the total amount for the course fees is $174,760, how many participants are there in course B? Now I'm going to solve for x. So my A plus my B and C I'm going to add together because those are like terms, would be 300x. All together for all three courses, 174.760. So subtracting 78.760 from both sides. I get 300x equals 96,000. Dividing by 300, I'm doing 960 divided by 3, which x equals 320. How many participants are there for course B? So there are 320 participants in course B. And four. the tickets sold for a train ride are divided into two categories, premier seats and economical seats. The premier seats cost $120 and the economical seats cost $75. There are 375 premier seats and X economical seats on the train, or economical. If the train is sold out, write an expression for the total amount of ticket sales for the train ride. 
Part A. Part B, if the total amount of the ticket sales when the train ride is sold out is $86,250, how many tickets for the economical seats were sold? So um, it's a good idea to make a table when you have problems that have value involved in them. It just makes it, I think, a little bit easier. So these are good table problems. And again, I have a couple things to keep track of here. So I have my seats, kinds of seats, like sitting in first class or coach. These are called premier and economical. So I'm going to list those. And the price for the premier seats, so the money, the price for the premier seats is $120. And for the economical seats, it's $75. The number of seats that were sold There were um, 375 premier seats sold, and there were X economical seats sold. So what is the total sale then? So the total money. So if you have 375 seats and they each cost $120, you multiply that and you get 45000 you have X number of seats times $75, you have 75X. Write an expression for the total amount of ticket sales for the train ride. Well, that's what my total column is helping me figure out. So I have $45,000 for those premier seats plus 75 times the number of economical seats, which I don't know. That's the expression, no equal sign. The next part, part B, says write the equation, basically. So the premier seats money plus the economical seats gives me the total money when the train sold out of $86,250. So I subtract $45,000 from both sides. And I get 75x equals... 41,250, dividing by 75 on both sides, I get x is equal to 550. So there were 550 times 75 does equal 41,250, and when you add it with the 45,000, you do get 86,250, so I've been checking to make sure that it works. Took out a calculator, 550 times 75 is 41,250. So there were 550 tickets sold for the economical seats. I'm, I'm not writing out the full sentence answer box label right now, um, just to save time, but we will do that um, in class. So yes, I did answer. This is the number of tickets, so I guess I'll just label my answers. So that was 550 tickets, and in the answer above here, there were 320 participants. We're not writing out the full sample right now, just to save time. On the next page, um, another good problem that has, and they've already set up the table for you, um, another good problem that has value or money involved in it. So the type of pizza. Henry ordered pizzas for a party and organized the information into a table. If Henry paid a total of $93.65, how many large cheese pizzas did he order? Well, if it costs $13.95 for one large cheese pizza, how many did he order? So I'm going to add on to this and just put a total column here. So $13.95 times each large pizza would be I don't know how many there were, 1395 pets. Um, he ordered two medium pepperoni pizzas for 11.95, so two times 11.95. He spent 23.90 on the medium pepperoni pizzas. All together, he paid $93.65. So my medium pizzas of 23.90 plus 13.95 for each times x each large cheese pizza altogether. Henry, who was ordering them maybe for his 
you know, lacrosse party or something, or his birthday party, um, spent $93.65. So it's the opposite of adding is subtracting, so we're going to balance this to get how many large cheese pizzas did he buy? And when I subtract $23.90 on both sides, I get $13.95 times X equals $69.75. And I did that on a calculator to help. And dividing by 1395, dividing by 1395, looks like it goes in there about five times. And yes, I did it on a calculator, and the answer is five. So he bought five large cheese pizzas that cost him 69.75, and two medium pizzas that cost him 23.90. And when you add that together, you get the total of 93.65. So Henry ordered far, five large cheese pizzas. So I'm going to label that answer. Um, number nine, on a three-week vacation to Paris, Martha's expenses for foods, gifts, and accommodations was 80 less than three times her airfare. So food, gifts, and accommodations, like spending money, um, was $80 less than three times her airfare. If the total expenses for the trip, all together, everything, was $2,660 going to Paris, good deal, how much was her airfare? So airfare is at the end of that sentence, that's my X. I'm going to set this up as a um, let statement one. Let X equal her airfare. And she... Her accommodations, food, and gifts was 80 less than, 80 less than, so minus 80, three times her airfare. So 3x minus 80 is her um, other expenses, food, gifts, and accommodations. I'm just going to call it other. But all together, her total expenses, that's my equation was equal to $2,660. So x plus her 3x minus 80 has to equal $2,660. So I'm going to put my like terms together. I get 4x minus 80 equals 2,660. I'm going to add 80 to both sides. And again, feel free to pause me, stop me, slow me down if you need to, replay. 2,740 when you add those together. Dividing by 4, dividing by 4. X equals, and yes, I used a calculator, 685. So Martha's airfare was $685. So putting that back in, 685 plus 3 times 685 minus 80. I did check. I used the calculator. 685 plus 3 times 685 minus 80. So I'm putting it back into this equation. And I did get on the calculator $2,660. So the airfare was $685. And again, not writing in a full sentence right now. An artist is weaving a rectangular wall hanging. So we can see the picture over here. The wall hanging is already 18 inches long, and the artist plans to weave an additional 2 inches each day. The finished wall hanging will be 60 inches long. How many days will it take the artist to finish the wall hanging? So 2 inches per day. How many days? Let x equal days. So if it's 60 total, and you can see that's the total, and they've already got 18 inches done, that means there's 42 inches left. So if I'm doing 2 inches each day, 2 inches per day, 2x, if I've only got 42 more inches to go, why not just set the equation 2x equals 42? Yeah, and that's another way to solve it, but... So when I divide by 2, I get x equals 21 days. 21 days 
two inches a day will give me 42 inches, plus the 18 inches already done, will give me the 16 inches. So it's going to take the artist another 21 days to finish that. That was a very easy one. Easy one to end on today.